<laughs> I am Shalon. I am a stand-up comedian, Monique's oldest son. Um, I guess I felt the need to make this video to just provide some context into this false narrative about her praying to the universe in order to reconcile our relationship or whatever the hell it is. Um, I wrote it all down so that way I don't go all over the place and get emotional or anything like that. I can, so I'm going to talk like I'm reading a script, but it's just going to help me kind of stay together. Um, but uh, to address the uh, Club Shea, Shea interview that she did where she states that she prays to the universe in regards to reconciling our relationship, as I stated, um, is odd. Uh, my mother and I both know that that is a very false narrative and I would like to free her of having to continue telling that lie. Faith without work is dead and neither one of us cares to put forth any effort to reconcile with the other. Uh, we are separate, as she put it, because she doesn't care to be my mother any more than I care to be her son. Neither one of us uh, has had the desire to reach out to the other in a very long time and I don't think that either of us anticipates that feeling ever returning. Speaking with my mother directly in my experience will either lead to some odd newfound moment of clarity in regards to how she was as my mother, or she retreats back to daddy to move forward with a conversation, and I'm tired of hearing my mother's truths. At the end of the day, that's your mother, and y'all need to squash whatever you have going on. Um, newsflash, I'm not sure if people know, but stand standing in your truth doesn't make you noble. Um, I'm not sure if people are aware of that. Uh, but responding this way, I feel as though it allows me to say my piece uninterrupted um, to those wondering, well, why say something now? Call it a form of therapy for me, I suppose. Um, but when her daddy had intentionally state stated that they have three sons, but his wife is on the internet talking about the fourth son in a video that has millions of views. That rubbed me the wrong way. Um, but anyway, to inform a child that you are not interested in being a mother at a time when that kid is the only kid that has the potential to lead a child to believe that you are not interested in them specifically uh, but to take it a step further <clears throat> you also admit my mother had also admitted to me that she didn't do the best job that she could do um which would also make one begin to question you know all of your past decisions and prior emotional interactions but to be completely honest and fair um you know, those were things that I was willing to get over. You know, nobody's perfect. We're all human. But my mother showed a clear lack of humility, compassion, and consideration when taking any level of accountability for those things. Um, my mother does a fantastic job of acknowledging a lot of things, but she doesn't take accountability very well, and anything that she may take true accountability for, it's only at her convenience, uh, in my experience. Um, but if I had to guess, though, her interest in being a mother probably started around the time that she married her daddy and had his children. Um, but that interest, you know, obviously seemed one-sided, and as it should have been. Um, by that time, I'm in my late teens, so to some degree, the, <coughs> excuse me, the neglect becomes easier to hide or validate, I guess you could say. There are now two baby boys in the house, you know, that require attention. Um, but still during that time, however, I still watched her enjoy the love and admiration of total strangers more than my own. Uh, to this very day, my mother has never expressed to me when, if ever, um, she became interested in me as her son. That did lead me down a path of questioning my self-worth and struggling to understand the value of a mother in a child's life. In the interview, she also states that she gave me an apology but an apology to a son from a mother that consciously showed no interest in him holds no weight. Um, there are still women to this day uh, that my mother will give credit to for being more of a mother to me than she ever could. Her assistant, my cousin, being one of them. Um, every time, though, that my mother would stay that she was right here whenever I was ready. 
Um, that ideology still blows my mind today that a person could openly admit to being an uninterested, not put my best foot forward type of parent and be so self-centered that they still express to the kid, you have to come to me when you're ready. You got to come to me for us to make this right. Okay, so that was Monique's son and he exposed her for not having a relationship with him. And that comes after she went on the Club Shay Shay podcast with Shannon Sharp. In the podcast, Monique said she's been praying for her and her son to reconcile. But Monique's son is saying that she hasn't done that. But here's the thing. How do you know if your mother has done that or not? So right now, there's Monique's truth, her son's truth, and then the real truth. And I think that she's made some mistakes. And I think that he has made some mistakes as well. Because he even mentioned that she has apologized to him. And she has said that she never was there when he was younger. So at least she's acknowledging that she was never there for him. And I know it must be tough to have a mother or a father that is famous because if you're famous, you can't really be at home. And it seems like she was always on the road. And now he's saying that she's got a second chance at success. And I actually feel for both of them because a son needs his mother and a mother needs her son.